No, absolutely not, Jen. You're my best officer. But I am Commander Starfleet, so I don't break rules. Don't quote rules to me. I'm talking about loyalty and sacrifice. One man who's died for us. Another with deep emotional problems. Now, wait a minute. This business about Spock and McCoy. Honestly, I never understood Vulcan mysticism. You don't have to believe. I'm not even sure that I believe. But if there's even a chance that Spock has an eternal soul, then it's my responsibility. Yours. As surely as if it were my very own. Give me back the Enterprise. With Scotty's help, I can... No, Jim. The Enterprise would never stand the pounding, and you know it. Then I'll find a ship. I'll hire a ship. Out of the question, my friend. The Council has ordered that no one but the science team goes to Genesis. Jen, your life and your career stand for rationality, not for intellectual chaos. Keep up this emotional behavior, and you'll lose everything. You'll destroy yourself. Do you understand me, Jen? I hear you. <laughs> I had to try. Of course. Thanks for the drink. Anytime. <laughs> the word, sir? The word? Is no. I am therefore going anyway. You can count on our help, sir. Thank you, Mr. Sulu. I'll need it. Shall I alert Dr. McCoy? Please. He has a long journey ahead of him. <laughs> 